as the uh, word of the vegan and the vegetarian grows, um, their food is becoming more popular. Um, I've said in the past, I understand and I uh, agree with some of the, uh, the, the principles of the vegan and the vegetarian way. Um, the trouble is, I don't think I could actually do it because I do like uh, meat too much. But uh, due to the interest and fairness of uh, people across this globe, I have started to review vegetarian and vegan food. Um, so I did the Greg Sausage Roll uh, the other day, uh, and I had some comments, and um, I take them on board. And uh, some people have actually, actually asked me if I would still carry on doing uh, vegetarian and vegan food. So uh, one lady asked me uh, to review Iceland's No Bull Burgers. Um, I didn't actually get a chance to pop into Iceland. It's not a shop I go into uh, that often. In fact, uh, I don't go into it. Um, so uh, I didn't. Uh, I was going to try and make an effort, but I didn't get a chance yesterday. So I had to go to Morrison's. So what I've done there, folks, is I popped into Morrison's and I went and had a look in their meat-free freezer counter, and I found these uh, taste. Uh, oh, bloody phones! Always going in there. But that's the door. Oh, I'll get you later. Right. Um, there are taste six meat-free burgers with onion and garlic seasoning, vegan. Uh, it's a burger. It's approximately 49 grams. Oven cook. Uh, you cook them from frozen. And um, that's the picture on the box. Uh, it's soya in it, chickpea flour, Garlic powder, onion powder, yeast extract, tomato powder, flavouring, black pepper, white pepper, uh, rapeseed oil, water, and it's just got that kind of stuff. Uh, you bang them in the oven for, you cook them from frozen. I've cooked this for 15 minutes, as it does say on the packet. You can fry them, uh, shallow fry them. Uh, I suppose you don't fry them in lard or anything like that. That defeats the object, doesn't it, folks? Um, so here we go. Uh, I've just cooked the two. That's what they look like. They don't look too bad to be fair, folks. Do they? They don't look too bad. Um, they cost a pound. I think it was a pound for the six. Or was it one pound twenty? I don't know. So here we go. Uh, that's what it looks like inside. Uh, I, uh, for the people who are visually impaired that uh, can't see my big fat moon face holding this uh, burger up. It does just look like a burger, to be fair. Um, it, it, it smells really nice. It don't smell of meat, obviously. Um, um, I'll tell you what, right, it's a bit fibre, feels a bit fibery kind of thing, but it's quite tasty. I think if you put that on a bun, lettuce, tomato and onion, and a bit of relish. I don't think some some will recognise it. I think it needs a bit more salt. I think it needs a bit more salt. Some kind of extra seasoning. But it's it's not as juicy as a burger. Obviously, it hasn't got all the animal fat and flavourings of that. But it is quite... It's quite tasty. I'm not giving on to the dogs, because the doodle's been sick. He's been ill. And the wife... Um, the wife has informed me not to feed the dog, 
So if she sees if she sees this, she don't watch all my uh, videos. To be fair to her, I don't blame her. Um, I'm not a cup of tea kind of thing on YouTube. She can listen to me all day in theory. So why would she want to sit there and watch me on YouTube? So I can't give the dogs any of this because she's told me not to feed them. So if she does happens to watch this and sees me feeding the doodle, she'll know I'll totally ignore her. But who's ready right to badge, you know, folks, if it just needs a little bit more seasoning. Morrison, since 1899, taste, V-taste. It needs a bit more seasoning, folks. Yeah, because what happens is you're chewing it and it tends to dry out a bit as you're chewing it. And it ju it's just lacking. It's just lacking a little something. And I don't know what it is. But it is quite... I mean, there it is, look, folks, when you rip it open. And it is... It's just a... Yeah, it's all right. It's not the best burger I've had. It's not going to want to make me go vegetarian or anything like that. I'll be honest with you people who are vegans and vegetarians, right? It's not going to turn me. But what I am doing is I am looking over the other side of the fence, trying to say. You know, I'm not closing my mind to this kind of uh, living because I would have thought eating this kind of thing is probably far more healthier for me and the environment than eating um, beef, lamb, pork, chicken, fish, fish burger. Yeah, yeah, fish. Do you get fish? But you get filio fish, don't you? So. <sighs> It might come to the day one day where I do actually have to cut down on meat because, let's face it, I am no Slim Jim. But these are quite, quite nice. I said about the, um, the Greg sausage roll and I was disappointed because it did taste quite nice. And like the, I think somebody made a slight comment about it. But what I was actually saying was, it was a compliment because I didn't think it would taste that nice. These, getting back to these, Morrison's, it needs a little bit more something. You've just got to go back to the drawing board and give it a bit more flavour. Um, I don't know. Could you could you mix some kind of, um, is Marmite, Marmite, that's, uh, that's a yeast extract, isn't it? Could you actually mix some kind of Marmite into it and give it a bit more flavour? A yeast extract. Because I love Marmite on toast. Oh, I think that's what it needs. If I just spread some Marmite on that, I think that would have been a winner. Anyway, folks. There's the packet. V-Taste Veggie Burgers from Morrison's. If you're wondering, give them a go. They were all right. They were nice. Laters.